The next flavour we're going to tie is King's Mill Moors Claret Bumble. This is an old traditional Irish slot favourite which is still widely used today. And the tying technique included in this fly is how to tie on Blue Jay. We start this fly as before, again about an eighth of an inch behind the hook eye. And again, we take the tie silk and close even turns right down the hook shank like that to give a good base for the fly. And again, at that same position, which is about just over the barb of the hook, we take our golden pheasant tippet feather and we take about six or eight fibres of this uh, feather and tie that in as the tail. So again, cut off a bunch of the tippet fibres and we tie that in just at the bend of the hook like that. Again, with just easy turns of tie and silk, one or two easy turns. That holds it in position and then tighten up then to actually hold the tail in place like that. The rib for this fly is a piece of gold oval and we cut that off and tie that in as before. Again, tie it in just on the far side of the hook shank like that and as I go back, I take the rib down like that to the side. And again, just tighten up on the tippet fibres and the rib to secure them in. At that stage, if you want, you can just cut off any waste pieces of material. Now, for the body of this fly, I used a medium claret dubbin. It's a number 14 in traditional Irish dubbin. And this is just a sort of a, a medium claret that you can use in in general mallard and tarots and, and claret bumbles. Again, we take off just a small pinch of dubbin like that, and we put the dubbin again up to the tine silk, and just as before, dub on in the same manner, squeezing that dubbin tightly and rolling it one way only, thumb and forefinger, onto the tine silk. Bring that down and start your body just right down at the bend. Wind that on, and again, as I say, it's best just to add small bits of dubbing bit by bit instead of trying to put it all at, on at one go. So again, pull that on, and come forward up the hook shank like that. Now again, as with a lot of flies, it's always important to leave room at the uh, behind the hook eye because you know you've got to tie in here, you've got to tie in two body hackles and we've got to wind in some blue jay. So leave again a bit more than say an eighth of an inch behind uh, the hook shank like that. Now the hackles for this fly are composed of two different types and they're basically a claret hackle and a black hackle. And we tie them on together and as a, 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 a tying in point, it's, 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 we take the two hackles and we actually have them that the fibers are roughly the same width because we need you know they need to look actually uh, the same width when we tie them on and we've got to clear off the flue at the base of them now what i do is i clear it off together here like that and then we tie them in together now i like to actually put the claret hackle on top or to the front like that so again we tie them in just halfway between the body of the fly and the hook eye. And we tie them in like that, together, claret hackle to the front, say three or four turns, and at this stage just push them over gently, try not to twist them, and then take two or three tight turns at the back like that. We then take our hackle pliers, and it's important at this stage when we're grabbing these hackles is that we just bring the two feathers together between the thumb and your forefinger that they are actually just very tight together and grab the tips of them like that and then proceed to tie or wind the hackles round as we do, do as we do just three or four turns at the front like that and then wind them down the shank of the hook like that again i would say maybe maximum four turns right down the 
the body like that. At the bend, we take the gold oval and we catch in the tip of the hackle like that. One turn of the gold oval and then bring the gold oval forward, through, work it back and forward through the hackles like that. And at this stage, again, if you want to actually take the hackle tips out of the way, just cut them off like that. Again, come forward again, moving back and forward, and that sort of stops the hackle, uh, hackle fibers being caught by the, by the oval. Come right forward, and then tie in your gold oval just in front of the hackles like that. Two or three turns. Now at this stage we can cut off the gold rib and cut off the two hackle stocks together. Again put your thumb in underneath like that, get the two hackle stocks and just snip them off there like that. Now at this stage I think it's just push the hackle fibers back together like that and so we have a position here now to wind on the blue jay at the front of the hackles. Now with this, with Blue Jay there are a number of different methods and what I do with, uh, the, with when I'm tying in my bumbles is I use the, the right handed feather of the Blue Jay or right, the feather from the right wing and I take this feather and I actually strip off the, the left hand side like that leaving the J on and I just pull the fibres sort of out at right angles to the feather like that. I tie that in just in front of the of the, 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 the body hackles like that. Say with three or four turns and bring your turns right up to the eye of the hook like that. And then what I do is I just wind the J feather like this and as I wind it I just actually put my sort of index finger on my left hand like that to hold it, keep the pressure on like that and just hold it there like that and wind that round about two or three turns towards the eye of the, of, the, of the hook like that. About three or four turns will do and then just catch in that remaining bit of J like that and take three or four turns round the stalk like so. Cut off the stalk and cut off the tip. Now, we then just cover all over the loose ends of the J feather like that and form the head of the fly. So basically, the J should be sort of splayed round, right, sort of fairly evenly around the, the fly like that. And content that that's sort of sitting right. We then finish the fly off with the whip finish as before. Do two whip finishes like that and then cut off your tennis hook and then again as before Add your varnish, a couple of drops of varnish onto the head of the fly to finish off. That's the finished Kingsman Moors tart bumble.